Dance by Garth Brooks is going to be played in standard tuning and comes out of the key of G. For this song, you'll need to know variations of different chords. A G, a C, a D, all of those major, a B minor, and then a variant of like an E minor. Um, so this song begins, also I'm using a, a pick for this, I'm kind of doing a hybrid picking pattern where I'm using the pick and also picking with my second finger. You can play this song just strummed if you want to, or you could pick the whole thing just with one pick and not do hybrid picking, or you could just do finger picking if you want to. Um, the intro to this song, though, is on a piano, and I've uh, kind of arranged something that um, more or less is what the piano is playing, just an octave lower and the in open position for a guitar. So that's the first lick. This is out of an E minor, and I'm playing this E minor with first finger on the five string two fret, second finger on the four string two fret. And I'm rolling down with my pick, open six, five, four. After hitting that four, I put my pinky finger down on the four string four fret and pick it. After picking that four string four fret with my pinky, you're going to hit an open three string of the G note. go with your first finger to the three string two fret and then you're going to open up that three string pluck it and then go back to your pinky on the four string four fret so that's the run in the E minor or you could just strum an E minor there if you don't want to do the picking part the second part of what the piano is doing is happening in a C chord. So you can either just kind of play like a C chord or uh, a C major 7 sounds pretty good. For that, just ring finger on 6th string, 3 fret, pinky finger on 5 string, 3 fret, 2nd finger on the 4 string, 2 fret, and then leave everything else open. There's a C major 7, but what the piano is doing is something more like... So the way I'm doing that is second finger on the five string, three fret, then an open four string, and then, then an open three string. So I'm going five, four, three, the five string fretted on the five string three fret. Whenever you hit that open three string, you then go with your first finger to the three string two fret, then ring finger to the three string four fret and then open up the three string again. So that's your run in the C chord. And then lastly, it moves to a D chord. Um, so for this D chord, you want your first finger on the three string two fret, your ring finger on the two string three fret, and then I use my thumb to grab the six string, uh, six string two fret. If you can't do that with your thumb, maybe reorient some of these fingers down here. Put your keep your ring finger on the two string three fret. Put your second finger on the three string two fret, and then reach down and grab with your first finger the six string two fret. But here's the picking pattern that I'm hearing uh, in this chord is. I'm going six, five, four. Your five string is open, your four string is open. And then the two string, then the three string, which are fretted by your second and ring fingers. And then open up the three string, lift your second finger or your first finger, depending on what finger configuration you're doing here. So that's an open three string. Then first finger back on the three string two fret. Then open the three string again. So you've got. And that's what the piano is doing. It all comes together like this, very slowly.
and then it rolls into that familiar guitar part. So, for this guitar part, you need your ring finger on the 6th string 3 fret and pinky finger pulled back to the 1 string 3 fret. Your ring finger will be muting out the 5 string. So the picking pattern here, I'm going 5, 4, 3, and then with my 2nd finger I'm, I'm striking up on the open 2 string. Then after I strike up on the open two string, my pick goes back to the six string, and then my second finger hits the one string. After my second finger hits that one string, where my pinky finger on my left hand is on the three fret, my second and first fingers hammer on into C position. So ring and pinky are staying where they've been. And you just hammer those two fingers down into C position. You're, they're hammering, hammering simultaneously, but your second finger is going to the four string, two fret, and your first finger is going to the two string, one fret, with an open three in the middle. And then just repeat. third time. So you roll out of that G, six, four, three, and then this little shape that you've been playing inside of the G, you're going to slide it up two frets. So your second finger is coming to the four string four fret, and your first finger is going to be on the two string three fret. They're behind it. So out of the G, you're going... So I'm rolling up to the open two string with my picking pattern. Slide up that shape two frets and then just slide it back down. So I'm striking the four string two fret and sliding it down to the four string, I'm sorry, I'm striking the four string four fret and sliding it down to the four string two fret with my first finger falling in line behind it on the two string one fret. Just, just roll through a G chord again. So that is the intro. Once you get there, the chords are G, C, and D for the most part. Uh, the G chord is the same G chord I've just talked about. The C chord, ring finger to the five string, three fret, second finger to the four string, two fret, open, three string, first finger on the two string, one fret, open one string. Now a lot of times in the C chord, the pinky finger will go down on the two string, three fret, and you get a feel like. That's five, four, three, and then my second finger on the two string, my, first, uh, my second finger on the right hand on the two string and then second finger on the right hand on the one string. And then, so the D chord, you can play, the picking pattern basically stays the same. You're just wanting to kind of do some nice little rolling pick notes. Just like up and back down. To the D chord, you can play the D chord this way. Sometimes in the D chord, this is a standard D chord with an open four string, uh, set, uh, first finger on the three string two fret, ring finger on the two string three fret, and an open one string. Sometimes in this D chord, I feel like you can hear the second finger hammer on and pull off to the one string two fret. So I'm just rolling down to the open one string. I'm pinching that one string with my second finger on my right hand, hammering, pulling off. But you can also play this D chord in a different voicing, the C voicing right here. Just take that C and bring it up two frets. Hit that open one string on it, sounds good. And then back into the G chord. Um, after the G chord, I think it rolls back up to the D. So like the verse chord would be the G. Repeat the G. 
-hmm. And notice how in the G, during the lyrics, the G is doing the same intro the thing, the same intro thing is pick down and hammer on into that C position inside of the G chord. So that's looking back on the memory of move to the C chord. leading into the pre-chorus. Now I will say that in the intro to this tutorial, while the guitar goes back to a C chord and a D chord before leading into the pre-chorus, or I guess it's actually the chorus there, the bass guitar is playing a third of both of these chords. The bass is going up to an E and then to an F sharp. So the way that I mimic that feel is leading into the verse, I'm sorry, leading into the chorus, I play my C like this with an E on the bottom. I've got my ring finger on the 5 string 7th fret and my 1st finger barring the 5th fret of strings 4, 3, and 2 and then up, same shape, just bring it up 2 frets ring finger now on the 5 string 9th fret 1st finger barring the 7th fret of strings 4, 3, and 2 and now we're in the chorus which is C to the D the D however you want to, either the C-shaped D or the standard D. The third chord of the chorus is a new chord, it's a B minor. The way you play this B minor is I've got my first finger on the 5 string 2 fret, ring finger on the 4 string 4 fret, pinky finger on the 3 string 4 fret, second finger on the 2 string 3 fret, and my first finger is now also barring to grab the two fret of the one string. So that's B minor to the C chord to the D chord. Repeat C chord. So this is the second round of the chorus up to the D to the B minor. I'd have had to miss C chord the then to the D chord and then it rolls back into another. Now at the end of the song, it goes back to the piano, which I would play this chord on a guitar. So this is an open six string, first finger on the five string two fret, open three string. I'm sorry, not open. Uh, let me start that over. Open six string, first finger on the five string two fret, pinky finger on the four string four fret, open three string, and ring finger pulled back to the two string three fret with an open one string on bottom. Pick it or strum it. Second chord. I think that sounds good. I'm leaving my pinky and my ring fingers where they are, but I'm hammering with my second finger out of that B feel with the low, low six on bottom hammering out of that B to the C chord. So my second finger is on the five string three fret. My pinky finger is still on the four string four fret. I still have an open three. My second finger is still on the two string three fret. Still have an open one. So you can play that chord or you could play the C major seven that I showed you at the beginning of the video and then up to a D chord with the F sharp on the bottom, or just a standard D chord, or that uh, C shaped D chord that I was showing you earlier. Back into the E minor. So there are a lot of different voicings of E minor that you can do. You can do the E minor, that's this first chord that I showed you. You could just do a standard E minor. You could play an E minor with your pinky finger pulled back to the one string two fret which is the first chord of that Jason Isbell song. Uh, only children. Anyway, a lot of different voicings to play with. So 
So, those are the chords and the movements to the dance by Garth Brooks. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.